so much for being here. Today, I'm finally gonna do a review on this backpack. It's the VanQuest Ibex 35. All right guys, this is gonna be an in-depth review, but at the same time, I'm gonna try and run through everything pretty quickly just because there's a lot going on with this backpack. All right guys, we're gonna start with the outside and then work our way in. First off, the first thing you see obviously is the color. You got this really cool multicam black. I know multicam black has gotten really popular and and you know you see people wearing jackets and hats and I've even seen like trucks that get wrapped in multicam black. Anyways, I really like it and I thought it was cool. So it was actually like my first multicam black item. This backpack has all kinds of different ways to strap things down and just attach things to it. Starting with the very front here, you got these bungee cords and you can tighten and loosen it with this. And the cool thing about this is say you're wearing a jacket or an extra layer like a raincoat or something and you just want to take it off but your backpack's full of stuff or you want to have it handy, you can just bundle it up and put it underneath this and then you can just tie, like pull on this and cinch it down and then you know you got a cool little way to strap down your jacket or whatever it is you want to put there, a blanket, I don't know. On the bottom here you've got these two straps which you can they show how to use them on their website but Anyways, you can attach things with these two, they're adjustable. And then on the bottom, you've got this to also attach more gear. You can loop things through the bottom, you can use other D-rings and things to attach stuff. You can attach things to the through here. Both sides have the molly webbing. Anyways, so you've got front, sides, and bottom, all ways to attach things. And then even here, you can attach things to like the straps. And speaking of the straps, one of the absolute coolest features, at least to me, because maybe it's because I'm short and I tend to have problems with like the way backpacks rest on me, but you can adjust the height of these. So that's Velcro, but it's like a really strong Velcro. And then I'm not gonna undo it, but you see that's a piece of molly webbing and they go all the way down this entire thing until you get to right here. So between here and here, you can move this thing up to here, you can move it all the way down to here. And so that way, say you're gonna use it for hiking or whatever, um, you can adjust it so that the backpack, the weight of it sits exactly where you want it to. And that makes a huge difference. You don't want it sagging really low on your back. Also, you know, you've got these really nice pads all the way around and they leave this space here to help air flow through and so you don't get too hot and sweaty back. Plus all of this has like a very breathable mesh to it. And then, by the way, this lower back pad is super nice. But I kind of, I took it out because I haven't been hiking with it. But you can pass this through the bottom and then you have a really nice waist strap and it's hefty too. So that really helps take the weight off of you. And once again, you can attach things to it through these loops here. Also, you've got this chest strap, which let me demonstrate. It's really cool because it's elastic. So you can kind of, you can tighten it down with this if you want. And say you're, you are out backpacking or whatever and you get hurt or you get lost or whatever. It's kind of gimmicky, but it's kind of fun because you've got a little whistle right here. So, it can actually go pretty dang loud. I just don't want to blow it super loud in the house. But that's just a cool thing. And, and these, this chest strap is adjustable. So on both sides you can raise it or lower it. And even like little small details like these little gray straps, which are Velcro by the way, but you can kind of put them wherever you want on here. But one really cool use for them is say you're using a hydration bladder inside and it's got this little hole here where you can pass the hose out from. So you can bring the hose out and then you can slide it down through one of these little uh, gray Velcro straps so that way it's not moving around like you have this loose hose everywhere. It's just locked right into place there like this. You're hiking around, this thing's not really moving all over the place because you've got it strapped down right there and say hey you get thirsty, there you go. So. Super useful. Also, we've got handles on both sides. So, we've got a handle here and a handle there so you can carry it from this side. And it just makes it useful. You've got one on the top here 
Because that way, if it's on the ground or something, or in your car, and you just need to grab it real quick, you know that there's pretty much a handle anywhere that you're gonna grab, so. That's nice. Also this Velcro right here is super useful just because you can throw your favorite patches on there or say you've got like a quick access medical pouch that you want to have on the outside so you can quickly grab it. Well, if you didn't attach it to any of the Molly, you can always just attach it right here if it's got the Velcro back. I forgot to mention these straps here. You've got four of them and it makes it so that you can strap everything down. Say you don't have that much in your bag and you just don't want it moving around. You can strap these down on both sides and make it really tight to kind of help compress the bag. But even more so, these straps just help support it. You don't want all the pressure pulling apart your zippers. So, you know, that's really like the main thing that you want to use these for. Anytime you have a heavy load, you strap these down, you tighten it a little, and it puts the pressure on the straps instead of having the pressure on your zippers. And the cool thing about these straps they say you're not using them, you're just going lightweight, you can actually hide these. They, they tuck back inside right here. I'll just kind of show you with this one. But, boom, it's gone. See, and you can do the same thing with this one. And they're gone. So typically when you get these kinds of like outdoor rough type of backpacks, they're made of uh, Cordura. Backpack manufacturers, they try to pick one that's not like too rigid because you don't want the thing to not like move and stuff you know you don't want it too stiff and so what they did with this backpack is they made the bottom out of 1000 denier cordura so that's super super strong it's really tough because they figured the bottom is going to be on rocks and be you know it's going to be on things the most and then they made the rest of like this part that's multicam black they made it a 500 denier cordura so it's still really strong, but it's a little bit more, you know, soft and comfortable for wearing and all that. This little thing here on the bottom, they call it a duck foot. And it's, it's just a cool little feature because say you do put something in here um, that's longer, it'll just kind of stop here. So this is like a stopper and then you would strap it down. All right, moving on to the pockets, we're going to start with these side ones. And you've got these nice YKK zippers that have these loops, which is on everything. You've got these nice loops, and it's nice. You just put your finger through it, and they glide. Some backpacks are super annoying. I've got a really, really nice backpack made by, well, another brand, which I'm not going to, I don't want to, like, talk down about them, because I do love the backpack. But it's another backpack that I have on this channel I did a review on. And I love it, but man, the zippers are just super annoying. They get stuck. I don't know what it is. They just don't glide nice and smooth like these ones. But anyway, so on the inside here, we've got this bright orange. By the way, this is Velcro, so you can attach some something else, whatever it is. They make so many different attachments nowadays with the Velcro back. So a little pouch there or whatever. And then you've got two pockets here and then just space on the bottom. It goes super deep all the way. It's like the length of my arm, but it goes all the way to the bottom there. And the point of the orange is, for one, it's super bright, and so it makes the background really bright for when you're reaching in there trying to find things and you can't see them. If, if it was black inside of here and you're looking for a pen or you're looking for something small on the bottom, some batteries or something, it's just harder to find. You're just going to be like feeling your way through instead of actually being able to see it. But with that orange background, it makes everything, you know, kind of easy to find. So that's that side. And then, by the way, another cool thing about the orange is, or any backpack that has a bright interior like this, it's nice because say you were out in the forest and you did get lost, it's just one more thing that you can use for signaling or say there's somebody out in a helicopter or somebody with binoculars looking for you and you leave this somewhere near you just as like another point for people to try and find you. They might see this bright orange thing and they might come looking for you. This side you got the same thing. Two pockets on the bottom, the Velcro, and then just it goes all the way to the bottom there. Got this one, which basically just your traditional little sunglass pocket but you can put whatever your keys something that you want to access quickly and then you've got this pocket 
This one goes way deeper and it actually has another zipper on the inside that you can access this same pocket from. So, I mean, it's not super deep, but you know, it goes like maybe to here versus this one you can just stick your fingers in. Now let's get into the main compartment. And these zippers are like extra nice. All the zippers are nice, but these ones are like this nice rubber ring, so they're a little bit different. The zipper itself is just even thicker and just bigger, so it glides even easier. If you bring them together, kind of like some luggage and stuff, you've got those two little loops so you could put a small lock. It just makes it that much harder for them. You know, they would have to steal your whole backpack and that might be a little bit more of an effort for them. So anyways, it's just nice for privacy and security to be able to put a little lock on the main compartment. So another cool thing about this backpack is the way they designed how it opens. Unlike most traditional backpacks where the zipper just comes up and over, this, as you can see, it comes up and then it curves around. And so when you take the two zippers and you just put them at the top here, it allows you to just open up the top and have like a lot of space to reach in. Say I have this on the ground and I just want to grab something. I can just open the top by bringing the zippers to, the, to right there and it just opens up. You have tons of space and it's open for you. It's not like you have to sit there and make it wide so you can reach something. They've got some dividers you can put inside. And say you get that, you can just open one side by leaving that zipper there and just open one side. And then you can kind of just grab things from the side because of the way it comes up and over. So you say there's something on the bottom, well you can just open up one side and pull it out. And there you go. So just how versatile, versatile it is with how it opens. And then of course the main way to open it, what they call clamshell style backpack but it opens all the way up so I mean look at that this thing is completely open it's not like some backpacks where you can't really get to the bottom no this thing you're gonna have no trouble getting to the bottom because it completely opens up so this right here is that same pocket from the outside on the top it just lets you access it from here and then this is a completely different pocket that you can't even access from the outside oh by the way the whole outside of the backpack is coated in a water waterproof coating and so if you're out in the rain with it all of this is water resistant and so it'll just bead right off of it now the inside is mostly just one big space little hook here to attach your water bladder. You can also use it for a laptop. It's the perfect shape. It's pretty big too. You could probably fit a pretty good sized laptop in there. I don't know the exact measurements. If you really want to know, you can ask me in the comments and I'll measure it for you. It's got this as well. It's just like a plastic thing that helps keep it rigid. So you can pull this whole thing out as you guys can see, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can pull this whole thing out if you don't want it to be as rigid, but typically if you are backpacking or carrying a lot of heavy stuff, that rigidity helps just make the load lighter on you. By the way, you can also put armor plate there if you wanted to. There we go, and that Velcro is strong. I mean, that doesn't come off very easily. If you did have a laptop in here and you wanted it to be a little bit tighter, you, know, you got these small straps there, to kind of get rid of that space and just strap it down. All this is molly, obviously, and Velcro. So if you want to weave something, some pouches through the molly, all this is Velcro and this is Velcro. Like I mentioned this. This portion here is also Velcro. Not just VanQuest, but also all kinds of other brands sell pouches of all kinds of sizes and shapes, long pouches, square pouches, you know, little small pouches and different brands make them with the Velcro on the back like that. So it's not very difficult to go on Amazon or just different websites and find um, different pouches to just customize the whole bag the way you want it. Say on this side you want three little pouches and here you just want one long pouch and then here you want two big pouches. It's just super customizable. Now obviously since it is kind of like a blank canvas, um, it does mean that you either have to have those pouches before you buy this 
and then that way you don't have to spend extra money or you have to buy this and then buy all the pouches to kind of add those pockets. Obviously it adds more money to it and if you're gonna spend this much on a backpack, you want it to be complete, I understand, but that's not the point of this backpack. The point of this backpack is to have like the ultimate setup and let you put it together the way you want and they sell all kinds of cool gear to like just set this thing up exactly the way you want it. I mean, you don't have to have it all organized. I mean, obviously that'd be nice, but if you wanna just shove stuff in here, I mean, you've got tons of space. Let me know if you guys have this backpack already and how you guys are liking it. I can tell you right now that I really like it. By the way, if you're wondering how much it costs, I believe $240 or something like that. So this is the most expensive backpack I've ever owned for sure. Luckily, I got it as a birthday gift. It's not cheap, but this, thing is gonna last a long time. I mean, the materials it's made out of and all that, it's a do-everything backpack. You can use it for backpacking, you can just use it for every day. So anyways, this thing's awesome. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And if you guys think that there's like a better all-around backpack than this guy, let me know in the comments below just because I'm always open to suggestions and I love seeing new gear and backpacks. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.